I was driving the other day listening to an audiobook and the the title of the audiobook is not that important but uh, it is a finance book and the author was talking about ways to improve financial situations you know investing and all that kind of stuff uh, and he had used a, a metaphor that I think I, I thought to myself like perfect this is the exact metaphor I need to try to explain a concept to people because I think that a lot of people look at calorie tracking uh, in a similar way that they look at budgeting. Uh, and there's a certain subset of people that do not like budgets, do not like calorie tracking, because it feels um, restricting. It feels like you don't have control, like you're being forced to do things. And I absolutely recognize that for myself as well. Like I, I can understand how that, that feels. Uh, until you start to see it in a different way, until you start to change your perspective and realize how liberating it might be. And his his whole stick was that he felt that people were either conscious spenders or haphazard, hapless spenders. Uh, and so one type of conscious spender will spend money specifically on things that they enjoy, that they like, even while staying within budget. So they don't just haplessly spend money uh, and tend to come over budget. They, they, they purposely spend on things that they, they value. And it, that takes a little bit of time that you actually have to figure out what you like, what you want to get out of, of life, what, what you value, and spend money on those things that make you happy, satiated, f- make you feel better. And it's very, very similar with calories. Instead of haplessly just spending calories, it's like I've said, be snobby about your treats, be snobby about your 20, because of course I want you to live your life, but I don't want you to feel like that wasn't worth it. That what I just had wasn't worth it, or being on the 80 is not worth it. I want you to enjoy your life, YOLO. You only live once. Um, but I want you to be a conscious calorie spender because I want you to spend on the calories that you enjoy. So as long as you cover your base budget and your fixed costs, your budget being your calorie balance, are you in a surplus because you're trying to gain? Are you in a deficit because you're trying to lose or you're are you balanced because you want to maintain and are you getting enough protein everything else is detailed so if the rest of the budget is is, uh, carbs or fats doesn't matter study after study has shown when you equate the calories and you equate the protein the, uh, the, the rest is just details and it's to your preference so as I've said spend on the things that you feel are valuable to you be a conscious calorie spender Uh, and I'm going to blatantly steal this metaphor be a conscious calorie spender not a hapless calorie spender and I want you to be to take a moment and realize you know what do you value what do you enjoy in terms of foods and spend your calories on your 20 on those fill start your day know what your calorie budget is make sure your protein your fixed cost is taken care of and the rest is to your liking that way it's not restricting that way it doesn't feel like you're, you're living a life too restringent and restrictive that you don't enjoy. You, you can still enjoy this process. Now, some of the details might be important and if you have to really budget every little minute because there's something going on in life. Very similar to calories. If you're trying to get to a specific, very minute goal that takes every little detail, then we have to worry about that. But for most people, I say 95% of people, Just being a conscious calorie spender is all you need to be.